I'm making truffled mac and cheese. This is a great dinner party dish because it's kind of very casual, but it's very elegant. People love it. You can make it in advance, throw it in the oven, nothing to do when the guests arrive. So I'm starting with mushrooms. I've sliced cremini and shiitake mushrooms, and I'm just sauteing them in butter and olive oil just until they're tender, which they are. It's perfect. I'm going to add a little bit of cream sherry. The sweetness is really good with them. There's something about sherry and mushrooms that are really good together. It'll get infused into the mushrooms, but it's also going to deglaze the pan so you get all the flavor into the truffle mac and cheese. Okay, while that cooks, I'm going to cook the pasta. So I like to use cavatappi, which is like a squiggly pasta. I'm going to pour it into a big pot of boiling salted water, and that cooks for about six to eight minutes. Next, the sauce. So I'm starting with truffle butter. It's a three ounce pot. I use white truffle butter because I really like the flavor. Okay, that's going to melt, and now I'm going to make the sauce. I'll add half a cup of all-purpose flour, whisk it constantly for two minutes, pour in four cups of scalded whole milk, and cook the sauce, stirring constantly with a wooden spoon for two minutes. So now I'm gonna add lots of cheese. So I've got four cups of Gruyere and three cups of grated extra sharp cheddar, and then lots of seasonings. Just a sprinkling of nutmeg, two tablespoons of salt, and lots of pepper. I'm just gonna stir this in. Oh, this smells good, it looks good. This is like classic comfort food, all dressed up for a party. Okay, I think the pasta's ready, so I'm gonna just drain it. I'm just gonna put it right in the bowl. Lots of pasta. Okay, now I'm just gonna put the sauce into the pasta, and I wanna do it while it's still hot. You can really smell the nutmeg. It's a little subtle, but it really makes a difference. And then stir all this in. And then I'm gonna add probably two thirds of the mushrooms that I cooked. I'll save some for the top. Can really smell the truffles. How good is this gonna be? The aroma is gonna be all the way through the house. That's nicely mixed. Okay, just put it right in the dish. Mm. So nice. You can really make this like early in the day or even the day before and just throw it in the oven before dinner. And just because I can't leave well enough alone, I've made herb breadcrumbs to put on top, and it gives a nice, really crunchy topping and lots of flavor. Let me tell you how I made them. I put one and a half cups of diced white bread with the crust removed into the food processor with two cloves of garlic, chopped, three tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley, turned it on, and in a few moments, I had perfectly fine breadcrumbs all ready to sprinkle over the mac and cheese. Okay, one more thing. Just so everybody knows there are mushrooms in this and truffles, I'm just gonna do some mushrooms right down the middle of the dish. Okay. Into the oven, 375 degrees for 40 minutes, and this is gonna be amazing. And that's truffled mac and cheese. Who knew mac and cheese could be so elegant? But I can't have it sitting here without at least a little taste. It's just a little corner, nobody will miss it. It just smells so good. That's a little taste. <laughs> Mmm, that's the best mac and cheese I've ever made. Wow. 